Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well, and in today's video we have some exciting MCU news for the future of Moon Knight's character coming back within the MCU. It has an exciting new update, of course, we're going to be discussing all of it, breaking it all down for you guys in today's video with everything that we know and everything that we would be anticipating right now. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing and covering all types of Marvel where they did news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from CBR.com as an overall garnering source. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As a read, Moon Knight Season 2 is seemingly back on track with Marvel Studios. This comes after the first season of the Oscar Isaac-led superhero drama series had concluded on Disney Plus more than two years ago back in 2022. According to Alex Perez of the Cosmic Circus, who in the recent has become more and more of a reputable source out there with more and more other sources discussing and covering what he is also reporting, which is very exciting to hear about this. So I would take it with a grain of salt, though, however, all at the same time, because it isn't something coming officially from Marvel Studios themselves. He reads and says that Marvel Studio has a quote unquote, an idea for Moon Knight season two that they find very exciting. Unfortunately for fans, the trusted scooper couldn't comment or really commit to on whether the superhero's future in the MCU would further than that, like when he would actually be back for a season two, or if he would be popping up in like a movie per se, beyond confirming that yes, Moon Knight will return. Just simply as that, kind of everything that we've been knowing, I think, if for anything, but the idea of Marvel Studios having an idea for the, where they want to take the direction of Moon Knight, particularly and specifically for Season 2 on the Disney Plus streamer, and also finding that idea very exciting. It really has some bigger implications and ties in, maybe, for the greater, grander multiversal saga, how he may connect to the Avengers and everything of that nature. Really, everything that's going on with every other aspect of the MCU is very disconnected from the character of Moon Knight because he's like an international character he takes place overseas essentially in comparison to where every other marvel project takes place in the u.s pretty much which does say a lot about the u.s having a lot of super superpower needs and uh troubles within the com comic book storyline of things it would also, I think, be taken as great news to hear that maybe there's a potential to have more of Moon Knight before the next two Avengers movies, and that maybe there could be a bigger implication to before that, before we see him just randomly popping up in the next two Avengers movies. I would also take it as a big disappointment as if, too, he wouldn't be appearing in the next two Avengers movies. So, you know, either or, I think they're, you know, planning to have Moon Knight back for the next two Avengers movies. I think one goes hand in hand with that. He's just such a popular character amongst the fans. Like, in comparison, it would be like them not having spider-man in the next two avengers movies there are fans out there maybe i'm labeled as one of those fans that would be going to see the next two avengers movies simply because of you know spider-man being in it there's fans out there like that that apply that to moon knight because he's just such of a fan favorite character out there not just that but i think that also self explains the the uh, success of the Disney Plus show and among the fans of popularity there as well. Moon Knight had premiered in March of 2022, running with six episodes on the Disney Plus streamer and introducing the world to Oscar Isaac's title character of Moon Knight or Mark Spector, depending on what personality we're going with. A mercenary with the Dissociative Identity Disorder, or DID. The first season follows Mark as he is drawn into a deadly mystery involving Egyptian gods with his multiple different alter egos and personas such as Stephen Grant. The additional cast for Moon Knight Season 1 had included Mae Kalo Mary as Layla El Fola or Scarlet Scarab and also Murray Abraham as Konashu and Ethan Hawke as the antagonist Arthur Harrow amongst others. In April of this year, Disney Home Entertainment finally released Moon Knight Season 1 on 4K and Blu-ray as well, unlike a physical release. But I think the importance of that there, however, is the fact that they label it Moon Knight the complete first season rather than a limited series in comparison of by which if you are a Star Wars fan we do have our Star Wars channel linked in the description down below when they had released Obi-Wan Kenobi onto a physical release they had labeled it the for the full limited series in comparison to labeling it like the full first season essentially so it definitely leaves the gate open that that is an idea that has been going on with Marvel Studios for the better part of the last couple of years I think is what we could assume now outside of the MCU Moon Moon Knight will also be appearing in the upcoming What If Season 
Season 3, presumably releasing next year in 2025 and ahead of Moon Knight Season 2. The first of Kanusha will appear in the animated form in the forthcoming third and final seemingly season and installment of What If for the Disney Plus streamer, which is in current development. In the episode in which he will appear, the superhero will be a part of an Avengers team featuring Sam Wilson's Captain America and Monica Rambeau. They will be fighting against Gamma Monsters and based on the first look images, piloting gigantic robots or mechs. The announcement, which was delivered by Marvel Animation's Brad Wonderbaum at D23 about last month, had also confirmed that Oscar Isaac would be returning to voice Moon Knight for the animated series' third season, which is pretty cool. So it's definitely a good relationship between Marvel Studios and Oscar Isaac all at the same time as well, which is also really great. I didn't doubt it for a moment. Now, which also does not yet have a premiere date on Disney+, Plus, but we're anticipating for What If to make its way for its third installment and Moon Knight's return, more importantly, sometime next year. Now, where else could Moon Knight be up you know, appearing or popping up within Marvel Studios uh, before maybe Moon Knight Season 2 would have to be having him a part of the Midnight Suns project or movie. There are, I feel like, shallow rumors out there, you know, grain of salt kind of rumors that pop up every couple of weeks about some type of Midnight Suns movie or project being in development with Marvel Studios. Oscar Isaac has been open about how excited he is for Moon Knight to begin popping up in other MCU projects, expressing interest in the past of seeing the first, uh, the fist of Kanusha go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ghost Rider or The Spirit of Vengeance. In February of this year, the actor had also shared that he would love for Moon Knight to appear in a Midnight Suns project, believing that there was an interesting opportunity to see as part of a team and what that kind of whole uh, dynamic would really be about and really entail. Now, while Marvel Studios has not officially teased a Midnight Suns project, one is reportedly in development, as I had mentioned, according to industry insider and scooper Daniel RPK Richmond. With the Midnight Suns usually composed of na supernatural characters, it would make great sense for Moon Knight to be a part of that. Whether or not that comes before or after the next two Avengers movies, because Marvel Studios has a very busy slate, is one of those things that's very up in the air, and honestly, I wouldn't doubt that to release until after the next two Avengers movies. And if for anything, would be hoping for and anticipating for Moon Knight Season 2 to maybe be released sometime next year or in 2026 and setting things up for Avengers uh, of Doomsday and Avengers Secret Wars. Guys, this is all being said. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been Unofficial MCU. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Peace out.